back today and we are into Mathematica Module 2. Mathematica 2. And we are going to get a uh, spell check error, as always. <laughs> uh, we're going to get into some fun features here. So we're going to take another uh, deeper look at plotting, look at plot 3D, contour plots, density plots, list contour plot, list density plots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're going to play around with some more histograms. Uh, creating different random walks. We're going to look at uh, basically list manipulation, uh, basically module two. So we're going to look at different functions that we deal with, um, with list manipulation. So selecting different data points from a list, selecting based on values, rounding data, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to play around with uh, basically manipulating and animating uh, our plots. And then finally, uh, one of the most useful things that you're going to use in Mathematica in this course, which is adding error bars to our plots. Um, but in this first video today, we're just going to get started and talk about uh, basically plotting number two. <laughs> so, plotting, plotting module two uh, or advanced version. So last time we played around with, we could plot now. Let's do cosine this time. Cosine never gets as much attention as sine. Minus two pi from x goes from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. So we know how to plot now cosine, sine, sine x times cosine x, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but now we haven't really played around with uh, basically three-dimensional plots. So one of the ways that you could kind of, again, add dimensionality, add more, uh, if you're looking at a multivariable function, so let's say I have a function that is Sine, excuse me, sine of x plus cosine of y plus square root of x times y squared. So some really cool function like this. I know I can take the derivative uh, function with respect to x or the derivative function with respect to y. We all know this. We're mathematics we're experts at this point. But I can also plot now this function. So if I plot 3D, I could plot, basically looking at this function, function from, let's just look at it from x from uh, 0 to 10, and from y from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. If I plot it, I can now look and play around, and like I could see some different functions here. So there's some really cool kind of functions that you could play around in plot 3D. Again, you always want to kind of look at the help menu, see what are some options available. So you can see uh, there's some definitely nice some nice plot options. So if I go to options or application, color function scaling is a nice one I like to use. So I could do color function scaling. So do color function. I could do temperature map. So basically, as we get you know, basically higher in values. Uh, either in our X or X, Y, or Z uh, coordinate system, you see it becomes more red. So I like that uh, uh, basically plot three, that color function uh, map as well. I can also look at this 3D dimensionality, this 3D plot. You can kind of play around, change it. Again, you can do play around with frames uh, and get really, really fancy into this. I can also look at this um, visualize as a 2D plot. So I could do the same thing and plot it as a contour plot. Loading Mathematica. <laughs> so I could see a two dimensional again. So this is my x coordinates, this is my y coordinates. Again, your z is shown essentially in these different color domains. Uh, so it's a basically a contour, two dimensional projection uh, of this plot as well. You could also look at it a little bit similarly as a list or a density plot. Very similar. It kind of just, you know, you don't have that fine of a mesh. So you can kind of play around and look at this. It's really nice. Density plots are a nice function, you know, a nice way to kind of project a three-dimensional um, kind of either equation, parameter, or data set and look at it in uh, kind of 2D and C, um, almost like kind of like a phase diagram that we've seen, in, you know, in core in our, you know, NGR45 course. So now this isn't just um, relegated to, uh, you, could, you don't have to just use these density plots or three-dimensional plots or contour plots on equations or in functions. So let's say I have a data set. I'm going to do my random list. So I'm going to do our list x. I'm just going to say that's going to be random variate. 
I'm going to do normal distribution from centered at 1 with a standard deviation of 10. I'm going to take 100 points here, and then I'm going to do the same thing for, I'm just generating random XYZ coordinates because the way that you plot this, or the way that you can kind of look at this, so let's look at control plot. So X min, Y min, and it plots essentially the functional value, which is your Z. So if I do list contour plot, I could see, okay, I, know I have an array of values. So I need an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, and then basically a Z value. So, so you can basically uh, produce it from there, but that's kind of boring. So let's look at a random plot, R list Y, and it's going to allow us to practice. I'm just going to center this at 5, and then... Let's get our Z component. Z, I'm going to have it at 15. So now I'm just going to do uh, list contour plot. Then I'm going to do my transpose, my transliterate, transpose of my R list X, my R list Y, and my R list Z. I know they're the same dimensions, so it should work. And it's kind of a mess. <laughs> As you might expect, because it's just a random list. So there's no trend here. Should be stochastic. I'm going to do my color function scaling. I'm going to do my, I'm going to do rainbow this time. How about that? So you could kind of see these different values here. Again, I take this and I could also plot it as a list density plot. And again, you see something very similar, but again, just a different kind of meshing and scaling. So lots of different three dimensional plots. Um, that you could play around with. So whenever you get into plot 3D, or if you're trying to kind of visualize something in three dimensions, you'll see kind of these different options that uh, kind of, so you could do a discrete plot 3D. So if I wanted to do, uh, basically, I could do list, I could take this data set, I'm going to do, how about I do list plot 3D? And you can see that nice, or <laughs> that uh, nice discrete or discrete plot. Uh, why did that fail? Let's see. Let's do let's plot 3D. And if you go to even, let's go back to our help menu. So we have plot 3D, we have list plot 3D, we could even do list point plot 3D, list surface plot 3D. There's lots of different options. Point plot 3D. So now it's just showing your points. I could do let's see if that will work. With surface plot 3D, again, lots of kind of nice, nasty uh, <laughs> things that you could do with three dimensional plots. Um, but yeah, so that's about it for uh, this first module. So again, plotting, uh, we can move beyond essentially these kind of straightforward uh, kind of two dimensional plots, even if it's a contour plot. And then we could move into three dimensions and kind of visualize essentially how these parameters uh, can change and how we could manipulate them. So yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you in the next video when we start to talk about histograms. Very important in this course for statistical analysis. Histograms are really fun. <laughs> so I'll see you all next time. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.